Good morning, guys. Welcome to another video. And today we are here with Speedway Gamer. Do you want to say hello? Hey, hi. <laughs> uh, and today we're going to be talking about pay to win in world um, this is not going to be like a usual episode it's kind of like a one off um, I just I don't know I saw I saw Speedway's channel he has a really good channel uh, and I thought you know why is this guy only on like 150 subscribers is that right oh well and, <laughs> oh, is it only 150 I don't know <laughs> yeah yeah 158 but anyways <laughs> yeah I, th I was thinking why is this guy on 150 subscribers blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah he deserves a bit more exposure and I guess I'm the only one who's giving it to him at the moment. So, yeah, we're here with Speedway, and today we're simply going to talk about what what's wrong with World in terms of its pay-to-win structure. Because as we know, uh, if you guys have played World, I imagine most of you have because it's free to play, and the minimum requirements are pretty low so anyone can play it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have come to the conclusion that, yeah, World is it's broken. You know, You need to put money into the game to actually get anywhere. If you don't put money into the game, then... You, you end up spend you know, you end up waiting you know days upon days to get an M3 and yeah. it, it it just gets ridiculous. Yeah, and it um, got, it, it, can I say that it got like worse since they added like before we used to have like a tier one, tier two, tier three classes, and now we have until class uh, they they divided in an update to class S, and uh, cars got a lot more expensive. Uh, like um, there were there used to be like three hundred thousand, now they're like one million. So they, you need to buy boost to pay, to win in this game, or it, it's absolutely horrible. Yeah, I, I haven't been playing World as long as Speedway has. I know he's been playing it for absolutely ages. Uh, he's telling <laughs> me he's <laughs> he played it since the beta, and then he played it like till 2012, took a break, and came back. Yeah. Um, so I think he is in a right position just to say, you know, if World is pay to win or not. And considering you know about these patches that have came out that make cars more expensive, I know half the games that cars actually are kind of like cancelled out. Like every few weeks they have a rotation. Yeah, yeah, they um, they actually do. I mean, uh, right now they didn't actually like since uh, before the developers that we had before they actually didn't do that a lot because they only wanted boost, like they only wanted money. But now we have new developers that are actually taking care of Need for Speed World and are really bringing the IGC rotation back, which is absolutely great. So I know. Uh, but even that model itself, like the fact I can't. Uh, but for firstly, you can't customize cars without actually putting boost on, yeah. uh, unless you get lucky in the packs thing, like in the um, what's it, what's it called? Um, yeah, on the car packs. Oh shit. Yeah, on the car packs. You you, you, you can't you just can't do it. Um, and then there's other things you know that are in the game. Oh god, <laughs> this has not gone very well. Um, yeah, I know. Um, yeah. Then there's there's other things like you know, it just happens all the time with with the. Uh, World is synonymously, synonymously known for, you know, being paid to win. For me personally, it makes, me, it makes it impossible for me to actually do well in the game. I'm not putting any money into it unless I suddenly, you know, get some money in my PayPal. Like, yeah. I, I just simply can't afford to, and oh my god, I'm stuck. Um, uh, there you go, I'm out. <laughs> there you go, hold on, I'll help you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, sim I simply can't afford it, and it, is, it frustrates me. The, bit, yeah. the game was built to make you spend money, and in a way it kind of upsets me because I really want to do well in World, I mean, and it seems you can't do it without boost. I, I'm not sh I knew I was, was there before, was there a way that you could get boost without actually spending any money, well, like, through, um, coin, uh, like through cash? Well, developers used to give you um, codes of speed boost once, once in a while, like, I don't know, in the anniversary of Need for Speed World, or in Christmas, or... On important dates, and right now they're not giving anything. Like, they dropped it out, and maybe they give you a free cars, but right now they are actually not taking care of Need for Speed World a lot. So, yeah, they have dropped everything out. I mean, this game is practically dead right now. And consider the the prices of New the speed boosts are really high. Have you seen the 5,000 speed boosts? How much it costs? Like $100 something like that it's really crazy. yeah because I, I i was actually like looking through the speed boost i was just looking to see how cheap i can get them if i use a mexican vpn if you don't know what a vpn it, it basically allows you to view a site from a different country yeah um ninety thousand speed boost is 40 pounds oh yeah oh, I really had no cheap. idea about that um <laughs> if you if you it, there's easy ways of doing that and if you guys want me to show you I, I, I can it's not hard at all um but that's an actual thing and i was thinking well if i can get ninety thousand speed boost for 40 quid like, 
and and it's it's so easy to do it. Why are not like there's so many exploits you can use to get cheaper speed boost? But I'm, I I don't know. I, like not many people have kind of exploited it yet. If you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking if the community doesn't like it, why don't they voice their opinion and say they don't like it by using these exploits and by you know uh, tweeting to people at World and all these kind of things? Why why aren't people taking a stand? I guess. Well, I guess a big problem here is like EA. They don't really care. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I mean, uh, before we used to have like I don't know if you knew uh, from Black, Black Box, Mark the Bellies and Drew, that they were yeah. the developers of this game, and they used to do uh, kind of let's say videos on YouTube uh, that were, co were called Ask Mark, where they actually you could tweet uh, I don't know questions or something like that, and they answered it, and it was really great because they actually showed uh, they paid attention to the people that that played this game. And right now, you don't get that anymore. I think they dropped it out at Ask Mart 60 or something like that. But, yeah. I mean, they yeah. it's like, uh, they don't really care right now. It's, it's EA uh, acting like EA, basically. Yeah. I, I think this is a common theme, not just with um, World. Like, you see this with a lot of pay-to-win games, like a lot of, lot of um, free-to-play games, that it is just pay-to-win. E even yeah. in, like, Forza... And it all comes back to DLC and having to pay for everything in games, like not getting, not paying for full games anymore. Um, I'm not sure if you've played Trackmania Nations Forever. No, you know? no, I haven't. Well, no. I made a video about that today. Well, it's going up today. <laughs> um, and basically, in that game, it's free to play. Uh, you have to pay a dime to get that game. And you can make as many tracks as you want. You, you, all, everything is open to you. You don't have to pay to win. You, you know, you've out here. Have all the cars available. You have, yeah. you know, all the stadium tracks available. Okay, that was odd. <laughs> did you leave? Did you leave the event? Uh, no, what happened? Uh, no, I think I, I think got, I think the, the guys in time. Hold on, I'll invite you to another one. Uh, um, yeah, but like you, you, yeah, you, like you get the whole game and it's free to play and everything's there. Unlike before. Uh, you know, with Need Speed World and with all these other games, it is pay to win. Um, yeah. And I know it is a free to play game, and I can understand why they're doing that because obviously it's free to play. But even in that sense, like with a game, with a free to play game, it, it shouldn't be pay to win. If you, if the grind option should still be there, you know, yeah. like at, en at any moment, I should be able to buy a GTR with my in game credits that I've earned, that I've spent hours grinding to get. The grind itself, I don't mind, but when developers are kind of manipulating it, it gets really super annoying. Yeah, especially a that, that this game calls, uh, um, gets very repetitive because you always get more cash on team escapes. So you basically spam team escapes all the all the time, like you keep doing team escapes and the races like pass to a second basis. I mean, you, you don't actually do races in this game unless it's for fun, but if you want to grow in this game, like level up or do something like that, you just uh, do or the treasure hunt or team escapes. That's basically all you do in this game. Yeah, it does get very, very, very repetitive. Yeah, and annoying. I guess the the main thing about World, which really like annoys me, it is, it's just how, you know, hackers and obviously they're taking a bit of a a bit of a, a action on this now with yeah. hackers and stuff. Yeah, they have. But you know, they. They were easily be able, like we were able to hack the game. They were easily be able to you know do these things that would enhance them in the game. And then you're sat here with oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> and, and and you're sat here with nothing. Um, and it's just little things like that. Like it really annoys me. And w why are other people allowed to get away with this? And I'm sat sat here with nothing. Sort yeah. of thing. If you know what I mean. I mean, like right now they have banned like one hundred sixty thousand. Uh, hackers if I'm not mistaken but it's still not enough there's still plenty of hackers left which is basically yeah. the whole Need for Speed world that is playing right now the, like if you uh, play one race or one team escape you'll find at least one or two hackers in this game and it's I haven't actually come across many yeah. and that's partially because I've been playing with friends of mine not yeah. like hack like not open lobbies so I guess that oh my god I'm so far behind <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so that, I, I guess that 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 plays a part as well um, but I, I do know for everyone who's played World for a long amount of time, who is who is actually grinding to get a car, who pe people who are actually you know, who actually kind of care about the game, they really do come across these issues. And I guess it, it it is super annoying because when you put so much effort into a game and it's not being you know looked after, yeah, 
kind of gets you wondering, you know, when, when cars cost money, like virtually every car costs money, and they're not even looking after their product, it, I mean, it, it, it leads you to think, why am I not playing, you know, like a different game? Why have I, why have I not, why am I not playing Horizon 2? Why am I not playing Drive Club? <laughs> you know, why am yeah. I still playing this piece of shit, which isn't, you know, fixed? I mean, you know what I mean, back in the beta used to be actually a really good game. Like, even the graphics were absolutely amazing. Like, I, I can't describe it. It was great. And uh, we had the BMW M3 GTR also, the body kit. And they also took it out, probably for boost purposes and or money purposes. But they actually never brought it back, not even for speed boost, which is kind of weird. Like, that's a very iconic car, and it should be in the for speed world. Actually, talk more about the beta. I kind of want to hear a bit more about the beta. So what else did they actually take out? I mean... Uh, they didn't take out, they made it worse, <laughs> absolutely worse. Uh, they made, after the beta, uh, I mean, in the beta, every car used to be, except the BMW and 3, like, oh, it, you could race any car, and uh, the the result was unpredictable. It was about skill. Now you just buy speed boost and grab the most OP car ever, and spam NOS everywhere, and yeah, you win, basically. Or you just basically hack. But so so how, how how was it more about skill? Like, what did they do to the game to make it less about skill? Uh, well, it, basically, you had uh, the power ups were, were still here, but the handling of the cars were a little bit more challenging, and you could actually see that in one of the cars that were in the betas, like the Audi R8 that was in the beta, uh, the Lamborghini LP560 was in the beta also, and you can see that the handling, they were, like, improved a little bit, but you can still see that it's really challenging to play with and every car like felt like heavier than now and yeah it's not the same thing and they weren't so OP it w I would describe it more like a Gran Turismo-ish most wanted 2005 type of driving in terms of uh, difficulty yeah this this doesn't really it, it no, doesn't no, have any correlation to any of the Need Speed games it's kind of no. just a bit random no, in fact, if you see any uh, YouTube in YouTube any Need for Speed uh, World Beta video, you're going to see that the car accelerates a little bit less than now. Uh, it's a lot heavier, and you can notice that just by watching the video. And yeah, they have changed a lot of things to worse. I mean, when we, for example, when we had this class type of update, we thought that things wouldn't get worse, but it actually got. 10 times worse because they added this uh, stupid achievement that there were skills before that you got them for free and now you, you can get achievements for buying boosts or getting 150 cars on your car lot when you can ba can't basically uh, buy car slots uh, anymore like it's, it's stupid it's, it's I mean yeah yeah so final thoughts uh... World world is now a scam. Yeah. <laughs> They've really uh, not improved the game since the beta, and and that's it basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go check out Speedway's channel. His link will be down in the description below, hey. um, and vice versa on his channel. I'm imagining. <laughs> uh, and I guess I will see you in the next video. Any uh, any last words? Uh, no, just thank you for uh, for this. And uh, yeah. Okay. Peace. Bye. Bye.